Your monorepo will inevitably grow over time, which is the main reason of having a monorepo after all. But by definition, as you keep adding projects to your monorepo, you will also have to do more work, in particular on CI. Now, this will slow down things because you have to do more computation for running builds, linting, testing against all those new projects. Now, in order to keep things fast anyway, NX comes with an affected command where the main idea is to cut down the number of projects that need to be processed. So here you see the visualization of the project graph that NX calculates behind the scenes in order to identify such relationships and be able to actually perform a calculation such as the affected command. So if we make a change in this shared header project, for instance, we create a new branch and we comment the change, we're able to visualize now this change on the graph by running NX graph dash dash affected. And this will now only show the subset of nodes that are affected by this change compared to all of the nodes. And clearly this will result in a much faster CI because there's much less computation that needs to be done. Now, in order to run tasks only against these affected projects, you can use the affected command instead of, for instance, the run many command and use the targets that you want to run for those affected commands, for instance, build and test. And you will see how an X now only runs it for the projects that are in this affected range. So how does this work? Well, first of all, NX leverages Git to identify the files that got touched. If you look, have a look at the command that we run, you can see defaulted to being the base comparison master and the head comparison pointing to our branch that we created. Once it knows the files, it maps them to the projects. And once it has the products, it is able to leverage the product graph to find out all the other affected products that depend on this change potentially. Now, while you can use these affected commands also locally, you get most out of them on CI. And when you run them on CI, you want to make sure to not necessarily run them against the latest master commit, as we did locally in our example. For instance, here, you might have broken commits that for some reason made it into master. So all new PRs should not compare against these commits that failed, but rather compare to the last successful one. On our docs, we have a dedicated section that describes how to set this up for your specific CI provider. For instance, for GitHub Actions and also others, we have already predefined action sets that you can just import and have that configured for you automatically. If you don't have a CI setup yet, you can also have that generated by using the CI workflow generator. And you select, for instance, GitHub, which will now generate a new CI YAML config which will have these things pre-configured for you among other things as well. So here you can see, for instance, this novel NX set SHAS part that you import that will make sure the environment variables for the base comparison and the head comparison are automatically set to the last successful run on your CI main branch. Now, even though the affected command can drastically speed up your CI, it is best paired with remote caching and distribution. So when pushing up my change to GitHub, NX Cloud is configured for this repository, automatically picks up the changes and runs them. And you can see how NX Cloud picks up the tasks that are affected by this change, which include these end to end tests, the card products and shared header tasks. Now assume on CI, some of the end to end tests failed and I need to adjust them without having to touch all the other nodes. I commit the change and push it again to CI. Now, if I had only used the factor command in this setup, the number of projects that are in that set wouldn't change because comparing that to the main branch, it would still be the same. However, we really just touched the card end to end. By having the remote caching active though, as well as a distribution, all these different projects here will be cached and just retrieved from that cache. And we end up running literally just the card end to end tests. By jumping over to our NX Cloud dashboard for the comment, that we just pushed to our PR, you can already see here that NX Replay, which is the remote caching, or has all these different tasks cached and really just runs the end-to-end -end tasks for that card end-to-end, -end, which we changed. And so compared to the previous run, where using a factor we were able to break down the time to roughly three minutes, we could cut it even further to roughly one minute by using it in combination with the remote caching and distribution.